Super 7, they have some SDCC exclusives also coming this month, essentially. Uh, we knew about a lot of their other stuff that they have announced that was going to be done from a retail standpoint, but they're going to have also an exclusive. They announced recently, first they put out a teaser a couple of days ago, and they just showed the chest of a character, which was clearly G1 Optimus Prime, because it was like the open chest with the Matrix. Uh, but mm -hmm. now we got a shot of the full figure here, although it's not really the figure, it's still kind of like a CG, you know, box art kind of mock-up thing. Mm -hmm. But we have a look here kind of a preview of X-Ray Optimus Prime. And what that is essentially is Super 7 about, I want to say, two, three months ago when we were talking about uh, Toy Fair, uh, they showed an Optimus Prime and a Megatron that were 12-inch figures that were done in a somewhat clear kind of color scheme. And so it looks like they're going to be doing like a very super clear white X-Ray version of G1 Optimus Prime from that mold. And you're going to be able to see his innards, like the Matrix of Leadership and all his gears and stuff and how everything works. And uh, it's going to be in a, uh, available at their table um, July 19th to the 22nd. Uh, there's no price yet or how limited it's going to be, but uh, it looks really cool. And again, if you want to get a better idea of what it looks like, I'll post it also in the uh, the image of uh, the podcast here. But if you want to, to like get some really high uh, quality images... Uh, just kind of Google uh, Transformers Super 7 12-inch Optimus Prime because Toy Fair had some really nice photos of the original painted one. So it'll give you an idea of the mold and how it looks and the details, and then you could kind of make a decision from there and get a better idea of what this one then is going to look like. Because, I mean, the, the photo that's included here, uh, unfortunately right now, is really just the box art kind of thing, so it doesn't give you a 100% idea. Uh, and again, we don't know the limitedness of the numbers and how much it'll cost. Most Super 7 stuff, though, is fairly affordable. Um, I buy, like, a lot of their weird off-brand kind of stuff, like their Rocketeer stuff and a lot of the... They always get the se seem to get, like, toy lines that don't have a lot of um, licensing backing behind them. Like, they recently got... Uh, the Mega Man brand to do some stuff. They got... Uh, okay. They got the W... They got, like the WWE Legends brand and they mm -hmm. started doing and I mean this is a, another one so they started doing like stuff like muscles for yeah. years and years and now they're doing WWE muscles which is like you know everything goes full circle yeah exactly it's like muscles were based off of wrestlers and now we got wrestlers based off of muscles so it's like <laughs> and so they're doing it of the Legends brand so it's Roddy Roddy Piper Iron Sheik all the old school guys from the 80s and early 90s so uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, definitely check out uh, their Instagram account where there's going to be more updates. That's where this information came from. So it's Super 7 on Instagram, and you'll get uh, definitely the updates from there. But really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing more about this. This interests me, but I'm curious about number one price and how it really looks the final product before I really want to make a dive. Mm. 